Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to insert formula into Excel. To keep it simple, I have got a simple Excel file where I have got column A and column B and I have a column C. In this one, I have applied a formula equals to sum A to B2. Now, if you go to the next row, it says A3, B3. Now, if you go to the next row, it says A4, B4. So, based on the location of the cell, the formula number is changing. If you see A4, B4. If I go down below, it will say A6, B6. Now, how this formula I can write using Python? Let's see that. First of all, I need few libraries. Which is the library that I'm going to use here is OpenPyExcel. I'll use OpenPyExcel and then I'm going to say import load workbook. So this is the load workbook function I'm going to use for this specific task. Now the next thing is we have to define where our file is in a variable. So I'm using file path equals to and I'll go to the specific location where it is there. Shift right click and then copy as path. And I'm going to paste it with a R string. Okay. So, so this is how you'll be writing the file path. Now, once you have written the file path, I'll create a simple variable called a equals to and using this function load workbook function, I'm going to load the file path into the variable a. So that means the a variable will become a temporary variable which will hold the entire Excel file. Done. Now your Excel file might contain multiple different sheets. So you have to define which sheet to work. So I need to work here in the sheet A, right? So I'll create another variable called B and using the A variable within the square bracket, I am going to simply say sheet one. Clear? Now B is holding the sheet one. This much is clear. Now the main part here is to learn how can I iterate through this row so we will, I will delete all of this. Okay. I'll delete all of this. I need to iterate through all of these rows and finally write a formula here. Right. So for that, I need to learn how to iterate through. For that, I will use a simple variable called R, which represents row. You can use any variable you want. And then I'm going to say in, then I'm going to iterate through this B sheet, right? The data that is there in the B. So I'll say B dot, there is something called iter rows. Okay. Using this function, I am going to iter through the B sheet data. That means the sheet one data. Okay. B, uh, B is the variable. Put a colon and then let's see what is getting printed. Okay. Well, only when you see what is getting printed, you will have an understanding. What is the meaning of this particular code? Now, what is happening? I am iterating through the B. That means I am iterating through the sheet one. So, what exactly it is showing? Hey, when you iter like this, the first time when it iterates, it says A1, then beside that there is a B1, then beside that there is a C1. That means it is iterating like this. So first row, first row like this, A1, B2, uh, B1 and C1. Then it will iterate to this one, A2, B2 and C2. Getting it, it's the second row, this is the first row, right? The columns will remain constant, so the row number is changing. If you look at the output, See A, 2, 3, 4, like that, the co column name is same, only the row number is changing. Getting it C3, C4, like that. So this much you have understood. Now, what would happen? Okay, what would happen if I'm going to write something like this? I'm saying 0 dot value. Look at this. Look at the output first, okay? Don't try to, um, you know, uh, mug up anything. Just try to see how it is working. Then you will automatically understand. So when I'm writing R, R represents what here? R represents what? Rows. Okay. R is representing rows. Okay. Now when I'm writing square zero, that means this is the column. So if you see the first column is represented by the index number zero. Row starts from one, two, three. Columns are indexed from zero, one, two, like that. So here it is saying when I'm saying row, 0 means it is pointing out to this particular C row 0 value. So that is means it is telling row 0 means you are telling column A. 
when i'm saying row b means uh, row 1 means column b if i write uh, row uh, 1 uh, 0 1 2 2 if i write it will give the sum column so look at this the output has given the entire column a clear now if i write experiment all these small small things then it will be clear then we will be able to write what we need now look at it what happened column b has come the entire column b got printed now if i am going to write r2 that means it is going to represent the sum column now sum column is uh, all blank right i still see the formulas let me delete the formulas and save it okay i did not save it that's why so let me run it again so you can see sum none 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 everything has come so this is a representation of the column so let's go back let's say 0 0 means what is coming the column a is coming now what would happen there is another function there is another method uh, called uh, dot row okay so what would happen by writing dot row look at it it is going to print the row numbers that means your sheet has got six rows if you see the first time it ran one two three four five six now if i compare with the excel one two three four five six getting it so remember this is very important point here what we have learned is uh, this one when i am writing r zero means i am representing the particular column and dot row means it is telling me currently which row i am in so when the loop starts it is in the row one then the loop starts then it goes to row two then it goes to row three then it goes to row five like that it goes okay this is one point okay very important point r zero dot row means it is only giving the row numbers what it gives it gives row numbers clear okay there's another point because if you look at i don't need this row one okay i need to work with from row two so how do i restrict that i can restrict it by simply writing min row there is something called here in the parenthesis i'm going to write min underscore row is equals to 2 i want to start from 2 now if you see it was printing from 1 if i run it now it will print from 2 do you see 2 3 4 5 6 so this much is clear okay so we don't actually need this just remember this r0 means row number okay r i will use this particular thing several times so remember r square bracket 0 means this is the column dot row means it just gives the number doesn't matter what you write if you write 1 also it will give the same output one is the column but which row you are in so dot row means which row you are in it gives the same number so we will just keep it zero okay so this one is we are going to use several times so remember r zero dot row means row number clear let's proceed let's proceed now now i need to target my formula where but in this in this particular area right to a particular cell I have to target to a particular cell so i am writing b b means what the sheet one right b variable contains everything and here i am writing cell and within the parenthesis there are couple of things that we have to value you say cell but which cell so every cell will have a row it will have a column isn't it it will have a row and column so same thing i am going to say rows within the parenthesis say row is a parameter and which row the row value is nothing but just now we learnt r 0 dot row which is nothing but a number instead of writing 2 i am writing this so when the iteration will happen it will have this number 2 3 4 5 like that so i am saying row is equal to whatever the iteration is happening for the r variable you give that value to row done now i am saying column parameter column so column is constant column is r what this sum column right one two three column is a sum column so i am saying column number three column number three and row will have this value done now what is the value you would like to pass now every cell may have a value so here our objective is quite simple i have to pass a formula here so what is the formula let's write it it's a string right so i'll use let me minimize this and let me write the formula our formula is something like this sum a2 okay colon b2 but here the trick is this two this numbers has to keep changing now we got what is the secret 
r dot zero dot row will be keep changing, right? So instead of writing a fixed value, I am going to write this formula here. Now remember, when this kind of a variables you are using, I'll be using something called format, okay? So when you are writing a big string and there are multiple variables that you have to use inside this string, simply say f f miss format, and here instead of two, I'll use curly braces, and instead of b two, I'll remove that and use curly braces. Inside the curly braces, I am going to just paste it. Paste this and paste this. So this is the numbers will keep changing as the loop is running. So it will become a two, then it will become uh, a three, b three, a four, b four, like that. It will keep changing. So that is the secret. Okay. So once this is done, okay, it will target that those specific cells, and then it is going to write. So after you have done it, remember to save. Any time you will be dealing with workbook. You have to save it. So a dot save, and I'm going to provide the file path variable here. Done. So let's save it, and uh, before you start running, ensure no formula is there. Okay. Let me close it. So very simple code. Okay. Very simple code. Easy to understand. Let's run it. So process finished. So let me go here. Let me refresh. So it is not appearing like this in the uh, preview. Let me open the Excel file. Now, if you look at the Excel file, contains all the formula and my output has come. So pretty simple code, easy to learn, easy to understand. So try this out on your computer and let me know if you are successful. If you are able to do it, please let me know. Yes, you have done it. Just comment. Yes, I have done it. It will be nice to see your comments. Thank you guys for watching. In case you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and do like the contents that you are watching on my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.